You've probably heard a lot in recent years about death with dignity and medical aid in dying. Perhaps you followed the courageous story of Brittany Menard, whose death from terminal brain cancer is both a tragic and heroic story that touched people around the world. Or maybe you heard that California authorized medical aid in dying as an end-of-life option for terminally ill adults who are suffering. Compassionate Choices is the nation's largest, oldest, and most active nonprofit organization committed to improving care and expanding choice at the end of life. In states that have authorized medical aid in dying, passing the law is only the first step. After that, the really hard work begins to ensure that people in need have access to the law. We know from over 30 years of experience in states that have a medical aid in dying law that the law is only effective if, one, people know about the law and how to access it, and two, doctors, hospice workers, and other medical providers know both how to have conversations with their patients about the option and how the law works in practice. And three, that healthcare systems and facilities have policies in place that support patient choices. That's where the Compassion and Choices Access Campaign comes in. The Access Campaign is a massive bilingual effort to integrate aid and dying into the medical standard of care. Our staff, volunteers, physician advocates, and individuals like you are working hard to ensure that individuals know their treatment options at the end of life and are able to advocate within their own communities to ensure the highest possible standard of end of life care including access to medical aid and dying. I started by advocating for change with my own health care system where I live. My doctors were supportive, but the staff in the large retirement community where I live had not considered medical aid and dying among the end-of-life options available to residents. With the support of Compassion and Choices, I worked closely with residents and the staff to gain support for having the option of medical aid and dying at the end of our lives. I'm really happy to say that the decision makers of the retirement community, swayed by my efforts and those of other supportive residents, adopted a policy to include medical aid in dying as an end-of-life option, which brings tremendous peace of mind to many residents. I practiced family medicine in Oregon for 35 years before becoming a national medical director with Compassion and Choices. I and other Compassion and Choices physician advocates speak with doctors across the country, many who are one question or training away from being able to support their patients more fully. Since the launch of Compassion and Choices Access Campaign, we've seen remarkable improvements. In the first 18 months that the Access Campaign was operational in Oregon, there was a 70% increase in physicians able and willing to participate in medical aid and dying. In Vermont, in the same time frame, we saw the number of individuals who were able to access medical aid in dying increase 400%. In California, our bilingual access campaign is working with over 1,000 volunteers and physician advocates across the state to ensure access for the 40 million residents of California. There are many ways you can join our access campaign efforts. Become a Compassion and Choices volunteer by signing up at www.compassionandchoices.org slash volunteer. Ask your doctor now about whether she or he will support your end of life choices and let your doctor and medical team know that this option is important to you. If you are a doctor or a medical provider, learn more about end of life options, including medical aid and dying by calling our doc to doc consultation line or join one of our medical provider advocate teams who champion end-of-life options within their healthcare systems or educate other medical professionals about the law. And I would encourage anyone who believes that people should be able to access a full range of end-of-life options to support or join the Compassion and Choices team. I'm now using my story to empower others across the state. It's incredibly fulfilling and meaningful work and it continues to amaze me how much of a difference one person can make.